Hello adventurers! Welcome to River Wonders. In this video, I'll share my two hours itinerary that will cover the best of River Wonders. If you follow my route, I'll save you a lot of time and you will not miss out on any of the good parts. Let's begin! For a quick overview, there are essentially six parts of River Wonders. The Seven Rivers, the Panda Pan, the Once Upon a River Animal Show, the Amazon River Quest, the Amazonia Encounter, and the Flooded Forest. You can start this itinerary anytime after opening and before 4pm. We'll be going clockwise, or is it like this for you guys? <laughs> After passing through the ticket gantry, take a left turn. In the seven rivers, you'll find big tanks full of fishes from the seven famous rivers around the world. My personal favourites are the giant catfishes in the Mekong River because it's such an awesome sight to see those giant fishes swimming over me. The armoured sturgeons from the Yangtze River, their distinctive bony plates made them look so badass. And I found something so funny. There's a tank with a false gharial and a turtle. And the turtle was riding the false gharial. I think they're friends. Maybe even best friends. You will likely spend about 30 fun minutes watching the fishes in the Seven Rivers. Right after the Yangtze River, we'll meet the animal that single-handedly propped up global wildlife conservation. The giant panda. Seriously, if they're not this cute, half of the world's wildlife would have gone extinct. Just look who's in the WWF logo. Our local pandas, Tia Tia and Kai Kai, lives in this luxuriously air-conditioned panda pen, beautifully furnished to mimic their natural bamboo forest habitat. The super adorable red panda also lives here. They are also known as the Firefox. The Firefox is cute, but I'm still gonna use my Google Chrome. love staying in the panda pen. In fact, I recommend stay 30 minutes in the panda pen to adore the pandas while you cool down from the heat. When the pandas are active, oh, they're so adorable. As you can see, the red pandas are very active, but the giant pandas are the complete opposite. After exiting the panda pen, cross the bridge and go to where once Upon a River Animal Show is at. I'll show you some snippets of the show, see if you can find the problems that I have with it, then I'll share with you my reasons why I think this is not worth your time. So personally, the stage is very very poorly lit. It makes it very difficult to see the animals and the presenters because the backlight from the sun is very strong. Compare this with the lighting at Singapore Zoo or Bird Paradise, the difference is phenomenal. A lot of the sitting areas in front are also at the same level, so if you're sitting there, you're probably watching the head of the person in front of you most of the time. And I didn't really enjoy the chemistry between the presenters. The energy didn't feel right and the jokes didn't really land. And for those reasons, 
I'm out. I think it's not worth your time, especially if you're planning to visit any of the other zoos in Mandai. There are a lot of pelicans in bird paradise. And you wanna see snakes? Go to Singapore Zoo, Reptopia. You can see a hundred snakes there. And you know what? There's also an otter show at Singapore Zoo, but the otter actually finished the job before leaving. Of all the animal shows in all of the zoos, I'll skip this one. Rangers, if you're watching this, I'm not really sorry because it's not that you're bad. It's just that all your peers are so damn good. I'll be very happy to go down for a re-review if things has changed. Maybe this is subjective to me, so if you still want to go, you can check it out. Just make sure that you book your seat for the animal presentation. Booking opens two hours before the show timing. Beside the Once Upon the River, you'll find the Amazon River Quest. For an additional $5, you can hop on a little boat which will sail you down the stream and you can watch animals along the way. Just like a mini river safari. But I also don't recommend going for this. I have another separate video explaining my reasons, so I don't want to repeat too much. In short, the boat ride is too fast and it's not enjoyable to view the animals like that. But if you still want to go, you can buy the boat tickets online anytime before you start your queue. Further down the boardwalk, you'll find Amazonian Encounter on your left. Here, you'll be walking into the animal's enclosure. Here, you'll find the animals such as the agouti, white-lipped tamarind, and helmeted curasso. I think this is meant to simulate the Amazon jungle, but I feel that the whole area is too small to feel like I'm in a jungle. In fact, I think I finished walking through the whole round in just 15 minutes. And I need to let you in a little secret. There's another place that's bigger than the Amazon encounter and also have a lot more animals. It's in bird paradise. So yeah, if you are planning to visit the bird paradise, you can also skip the Amazonian encounters. I feel bad. This itinerary essentially tells you to skip half of the whole river wonders. <laughs> well, it's an honest review and it's for you. So take it as you want it. Okay, this next one, you cannot skip the flooded forest. This is what puts the wonder in River Wonders. You'll first pass under this tunnel of giant otters. These playful otters really love to show off their acrobatic moves in the water. And this underwater tunnel is the perfect place to watch them frolic. They're also very interactive and will chase your hand if you wave towards them. These children went berserk when they realized that the otters were chasing their hands. They seriously love this. And it gets better when you get deeper into the flooded forest. Further in, you'll find the biggest tank in River Wonders, housing the manatees, also known as the dugongs or the cows of the seas. My favorite moment was when the crowd died down and I'm left alone, all these giants swimming over here. Following the pathway, you'll spiral upwards to get to see the top-down view of the tank. There are also very colourful manta rays in the shallow pools at the top level. In and out, you'll probably take about 30 minutes to explore the whole flooded forest. This itinerary is perfect to be paired with a trip to the Singapore Zoo or the Bird Paradise. So, I'll see you there. That's it, you finished the River Wonders in less than 2 hours. Hello, 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 hello adventurers! Welcome to 